Karoli Luanga, Kiprop Arab Kemboi, is an angry man. The high school teacher rules the day he logged onto Facebook and accessed the alleged page of 3,000-meter Olympic gold medalist Ezekiel Kemboi, which has 5,007 friends. Karoli describes Kemboi as a casual acquaintance because beyond seeing him on TV running for Kenya, the teacher claims to have chatted with his hero on Facebook and talked briefly with him at a popular bar in Eldoret. It was on Wednesday, the 21st of August 2013, when Karoli noticed a post purportedly from Kemboi promising interest-free loans to his friends, and he decided to inbox the steeplechaser to get further details. From there, a conversation ensued, which resulted in the teacher sending Kemboi his ID number plus a commitment fee of 5,000 Kenya shillings, which was 10% of the loan that he was looking for. Believing all this time that the person he was interacting with was his friend Ezekiel Kemboi, Karoli only began to smell a rat two days later. How I came to discover that Kemboi actually is not in the country is because after the Moscow uh, World Championship, you know, it seems Kemboi did not come back to the country. And uh, from the Citizen News, I heard that Kemboi ran the Stockholm. Uh, Diamond Leak, although it, it did not finish, but by the mention of the name that Kimboy rented Stockholm Diamond Leak and pulled out in the middle of the way, I was shocked that the person I've been talking to may not have been Kimboy actually. According to the M-Pesa message Karoli received when he sent the 5,000 Kenya shillings, the person he was dealing with had registered the name Jerd Brain. To prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that his claims were true, the teacher proceeded to call the number on the Facebook page in our presence and this is how the conversation proceeded. Uh, Ezekiel, uh. kuna ile story nilikuwa nakwambia kukuomba loan. Sasa ilikuwa imepaki 800 shillings. Uh. Nimepata hiyo 800 na nilikuwa nakwambia nataka nikutumie leo. Sasa nimeshikwa tu na nini shida kidogo hapa kwa nyumba lakini nikikuja town nitakutumia. Please. Okay. Okay. Eh uko wapi sai? Amekata. It is good now this person has come to us, the complaint has come to us, we are investigating the case and we are going to trace the origin of this suspect who is, who is uh, frauding members of the public a lot of money. You would ask actually why would a teacher like me, you know, uh, get convinced or, you know, get frauded through such cheap means. But I would tell you, if I get to your Facebook account and update and even give you an inbox that how are you? I would like to give you 10,000 today. Your official Facebook account, which you have been using with your friends. Do you think they would doubt you? Citizen TV also spoke to Brenda Koech from E10, who confirmed that she had tried to access a 50,000 Kenya shillings loan from the alleged Kimboi Facebook page, but she wisely backed off when she was asked to send a down payment of 3,000 Kenya shillings. The real Ezekiel Kemboi will not be back in the country until after the final Diamond League in Brussels on the 6th of September 2013. Until then, fraud victim Karoli is urging all Kenyans to be wary of any promises made on the alleged Facebook page of Ezekiel Kemboi. For Citizen Sports, I'm Waihiga Moaura. Yeah.